Okay. So everybody knows Google. You can go to Google and you can search for stuff. And it finds all kinds of stuff. Isn't that awesome? Turn that crap off. And everybody knows you can go to Google Image Search. So you can search for stuff there too. What a lot of people don't know about is this little camera icon here apparently. And I'll show you how this is going to come in handy. One day, I was surfing the interwebs and I found that somebody had requested that this image here be improved. Specifically what they want. They want the text removed from this image. Now, anybody that is relatively good with Photoshop and just drag this photo on into Photoshop and start to work on getting rid of this text. But you know what? This is a small image. And it's an interesting image. Looks like it was professionally done. So, I just think to myself, when I see an image like this, and they want to change done to it, and the image that they're showing me is small in my opinion, I just, I want to see if I can find a bigger one. That's just the way my mind works, so. And it helps because I know how this Google stuff works too. So you come back to Google Image Search and you click on this little camera icon here up in the search bar. And you want to paste the image URL of the image that you're looking for. And what you can see here, it basically uses our image that we pasted the URL for. It takes our image and it looks for pictures that are similar to it. And you can see it's finding other ones. And let's go back to this one here. This image in particular is 640 by 347. That's small. And you scroll down here, you'll see there's nothing bigger. Nothing bigger than 640 here in the numbers for resolution underneath each image. But next to your main image, your base image, you just click on large. And look at that, there's one that's 1920 by 1080. Well that's awesome, because it's bigger, so let's click on that and see what we get. Uh, not in English, and I'm not going to bother with the translation. Just scroll through here and kind of look for links. YouTube link, not good. Uh, what's this? Well, that's not what we were looking for. Uh, links, links. So, go back to Google here, and you'll see this is the file name that it found on that website. So, what we could do is just do a control find and type in BMP, which find that bitmap link. We're right here on it already, though. But we run into a problem anyhow. We click on it, 404 not found, so the link that they used to share that image originally is no longer good. Now, the, the average internet stalker might let this stop them, not me. Let's try this link here. Oh, and look at that. That looks like our image, doesn't it? And let's see here. Open image, new tab. And it's bigger. How much bigger is that, though? Just opened up Earth and View and pasted it in there just so I can get a visual to show you here. This image is 1000 by 666 pixels. That's definitely better. But, is that really the best we can do? Let's copy this image URL. We'll go back to our Google search and click on the camera and we'll do another search with the new image as our base image to see what it finds. And I'm just going to click on large. And look at that, 1920 by 1280. It's a little bit bigger. Forgot to open it in a new tab. So, we've got this image here. I'm just click on full size image to get it. Right click, copy image. Go back to my handy dandy earth and view and paste it in there. 
And you can see down here, 1920 by 1280. Ooh. This image is definitely good. This is awesome. Yay, internet. Can I view just this in a tab? Where are we at? We don't want that one. This one. Where is it? There it is. So, we found a bigger image. Not only is it bigger, but in my opinion, the color is better too. And if you remember what I said, the original request for this image was remove this text for whatever reason they don't like the text up here in the corner. So, just by going to Google and searching for a similar image, not only did we find a bigger and better image, we found an image without the text on it. So, you know, what, what could have taken 10, 15 minutes or more in Photoshop to get rid of some text took, you know, two to five minutes of Google image searching to find similar images. Now, there's also another site that people specifically use to find their images. If you, let's say you're a photographer or something and you've got your images on a portfolio website or whatever, you want to find out if someone else may have, you know, kind of stolen your image and is using it somewhere else. Tinai.com is the website that I've seen recommended to, you know, search for similar images. I don't know enough to explain why Tinai works differently than Google Image Search works, but they do work differently. For the random image searches that I do, I. Google image search just usually works out better for me than 10 I does. That's just the way it is. But I always try both because you never know what you're going to find until you try searching for similar images. So yeah, just click on the uh, little camera icon in Google image search, paste the address, and click on search. You could also upload an image from your computer from your hard drive, but I don't need to do that for this video. So yeah, Google Image Search. It rocks. Learn to use it. Love it. It can save you some headaches sometimes, save you some hassle. This is the image that I actually ended up doing for the person who requested the text to be removed. I went and I found this image here, and then I removed the text from the shirts. And this image is 1920 by 1280. Pretty cool stuff. Google image search, camera icon. It rocks!